Welcome, everybody. Happy Saturday. Hopefully, you're doing all right. Had some sales today. Um, you ready for some football tomorrow? Some football was today. Son had a birthday party tonight, so we were over at the bowling alley with him. Uh, hopefully, your sales were okay. Today was pretty good. I won't lie. Today was awesome. Had some great sales today. Uh, I don't know if it's just, uh, just before Thanksgiving hump, but uh, shoot, that put me above. I think I had six or seven today. But, oh, excuse me, guys. How have your sales been going? Sandhill Treasures, what's going on? John, your shovel's in the mail. April, what's going on? Donna. Donna one, Donna two, what's going on? Hard Dixie Flipper, what's up? Four Oaks, Chibs. What's up, guys? Thanks for coming. Uh, let's talk about what was your what was your big sale today? How many sales, first of all, how many sales do you have? And what was the best item you've sold tonight? Or today, I should say. Uh, for me, uh, how many did I have today? I sold some shorts. I sold some Lego. Uh, I sold a hat, uh, a jacket. But I want to say the best item, minus the jersey. Jerseys are always my money sales right now. But uh, I sold Thrifty Anna Jones. Just joined Poshmark. Awesome. Actually, I did have a Poshmark day, uh, sale today. Uh, it was a low sale. I would say low. It was like uh, seventeen dollars after fees. So, oh god, sorry guys, I shouldn't be yawning for a Saturday night. All right, my big, I say my good sale today was uh, this, which was thirty seven eighty nine. <clears throat> I love the quarter zips. Quarter zips sit for a while though. This quarter zip, you can see it. It's kind of like a tan. Uh, the brand to look for, though, is Donald Ross. TPC Sawgrass. It's a golfing pullover. And there you go. Look for that logo. That logo does well. So keep your eyes out for Donald Ross. Polo shirts, quarter zips. Uh I those I I'm a sucker for those. I buy this all the time. So let's see what we see here. Hard Dixon Flipper five sales, nice big one was a new Liberty overalls, forty bucks. Red Neckerson was an eighty six dollar DVD, nice. Got my first Etsy sale today, or a long time. Sold vintage Corel dishes, thirty bucks. Does that when when you say thirty dollars, does that include shipping? Because I think dishes would be a, a lot to ship. Donna for sales the best was a hundred dollar electric construction toy. Nice. Yeah, toys are doing uh really well. I sold a Lego today, a Lego set. It was a small one, uh, $23. Uh sold a Ferminator on uh Amazon, brand new in package, $45. Sold that. Uh Eric sold a book. Man, Eric has a lot of nice books uh, uh, below 1900s. Sold for 80 bucks. That's awesome, Eric. Nice job. Chris, for sales. Best was a $42 cashmere sweater. Yeah, if you can find cashmere, thrift store, wholesale, outlets, pick them up. John sold more motherboards. Awesome. Re uh, Retic sold $350 headphones. Awesome. Mike sold some doorknobs. Man, Mike finds some awesome stuff. I love. I, uh, if you don't follow Mike to Crazy Card on Instagram, he had a cool pen he sold the other day. What was it like? One hundred thirty-five dollars. Give him a follow. Follow John uh, West First Books also is in Instagram. Nevermore Antiques. Follow him on YouTube. Yeah, they you get uh, some uh, good finds. You guys have Bishnup. What's up? Thrill the hunt. Sold an ugly Christmas sweater. Awesome. Etsy was uh, was with shipping. Okay, yeah, regional A. So my jerseys that I get that I uh, haphazardly put on my half naked mannequin back here last night, uh, I ship those, and they're all going to Colorado because they're the uh, Colorado Avalanche. Uh, the regional A side load, I pay about nine fifty. 
uh, pays for itself. So regional A's do really well. If you don't have regional A's, get them for free on uh, USBS. eBay, zero eBay, 25 Amazon. Vicky crushes it on Amazon. That's awesome. Paid a return today, sold a double XL sweatpants new. They were too small for the buyer. Oh, it's all right. Get it back. Put your return shipping back to the cost. You'll be fine. Ego sleep pants. Lego my ego, Sean. Ego sleep pants. Never heard of those. Sold a DJ mixer on Facebook. What's a DJ? Oh, like a uh, audio mixer. Yeah, toys are, toys are starting to hit now. I guess right before Christmas, um, there's one set that I have merchant fulfilled on Amazon that I've been getting lowballed at eBay. Uh, I'm jacking up the price on Amazon. We'll see what happens. <laughs> All right. So tonight, guys, R&M, two items sold on eBay, one Mercari. Nice. And what's nice is any uh, sold items today, you don't have to ship out till Monday. So I love the weekend sales. It's... Uh, Almost like you get to sell it and sit on it. Lego, my ego, that is correct. Any hot toys yet? Not for me. Uh, nothing. My jerseys are pretty hot. I don't know about that. Um, all right. So we're going to do liquidation.com giveaway. At least the entry, we're going to talk about how to get entered. We're probably going to do a drawing for tomorrow. So tonight we'll talk about the entry. I'm going to show you back there how I keep track of my inventory. I forgot who asked me earlier this week that they, I think it was Flipping Particles. Hopefully Flipping Particles is here. Sound out if you're here, Flipping Particles. Uh, they wanted to do a um, walkthrough of how I store my stuff. So we'll do that. I'll take you back over there. And then um, I'll show you what I picked up today. Salvation Army was a miss. I picked up zero. Uh, I talked to my supplier of my jerseys. I'm probably going to buy the rest of them out. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, one Goodwill. I went Friday night, so I didn't go there today. I went to the other Goodwill. The other Goodwill that my son hates because there's zero toys there. And, uh, yeah. But uh, my one Goodwill was awesome. I spent like $62. Oh, Bishop also asked it. So you, we, we have a couple people that want to see it. Yeah, Salvation Army was bad today. I wore this in today. So I wear this sweatshirt anywhere I go. And anywhere I wear it, people start talking to me about the Browns. I like the Browns. Get me, you know, I don't mind talking about them, but not for 30 minutes. I'm trying to look at clothes, and these guys are talking to me, asking me about who's going to, who's uh, the new coach is going to be. John, you need to come to ASD, John. March. We'll see you on March. Women's a lawn, lawman brand police uniform shirts. Uh, I list these, or are they banned because they might get the wrong hands? Donna, I'd still list them. Uh, I sold a corrections off uh, corrections officer button up. I got forty bucks for it. At least try it. Uh, I don't know if it's Vero'd. Double check, but uh, I would still list it. Three brown shirts, new in package. Yeah, Joey was the winner of the liquidation code that we're going to give away this weekend. He actually got a nice lot. The brown stains. Yeah, you could call them that. They're going to win tomorrow. They're going to win tomorrow. Even though the the liquidation OH Fantasy Football League, I've done terrible in this uh, this year. That's my worst league. I don't know what happened. Source from four different auctions this weekend and fifth tomorrow. Sue Ann would love to see what you find. <laughs> I uh, wonder what a flight to Vegas costs. John, I bet you can get it around $250, $300 $300 round trip. Uh, at least from Columbus, that's what I can get it for, $250, $300. Both my teams are losers this year. One league, I'm actually doing all right in, even though Rob Gon uh, uh, Gronkowski is not playing well at all. Eric found a way to list faster. Would love to hear that, Eric. Would love to see it. Let me know. All right. So let's do a little tour here. So here we go. Here's my kind of area. Got the hockey flag here. TV over there. Uh, for those of you that love old school game systems, 
there they all are. I have, uh, Mom, if you're still in the chat, I still have all my old Nintendo boxes. And Eric, you actually sold a bunch from the trash. My mom actually saved them all. So DuckTales, NES. Uh, these, I'm probably never going to sell these. Remember this one? The original Ninja, Ninja, uh, Ninja Turtle game. Sold that. So uh, I can't get rid of my old game systems. So that's, that's where everything lives. Actually, so there's Dreamcast over there. GameCube I picked off of uh, Shop Goodwill. Got a Nintendo NES today. Controllers, eight games. Whoa. I had the case in the Turtles game. Yeah, guys, if you can find uh, NES, the boxes, they do really well. I mean, look at that. Remember Roger Rabbit? Roger Rabbit? That game is really weird. Did you ever play some old N Nintendo games? Really crazy. Bugs Bunny Castle. Hold on. I still have that one over there. I actually got that from a liquidation lot. I think it's jacked up. Where's that one? The original Nintendo Zelda. And the gold, if you can find this, look at that. It's no, no scratches, nothing. Um, if you can find that, I flipped that from Shop Goodwill. Where's Bugs Bunny Castle? If you can find Bubble Bobble 2, I think those do well. Uh, where is it? Bugs Bunny Castle. I think that's the last game we played. Nope. There it is, Bugs Bunny Castle. There you go. Bugs Bunny Castle right there. So if you can find Nintendo games, pick them up. Chibs, I also have Robbie the Robot and the Power Glove. The Power Glove I don't have. I do have the original uh, Nintendo gun. Do you know in Duck Hunt, if, uh, if the second player has the controller, they control the ducks on Duck Hunt. Whoever... Uh, if if uh, you never knew that, check that out. That's kind of cool. Couple uh, Red Sox stuff, Boston Bruins. My actual game used Red Sox bat here. There you go. Uh, another story is over here. What else do I have? Sorry, I lost my window. Sorry if I'm Blair Rich Project. Uh, got a game used stick right here. That's Cam Atkinson of the Blue Jackets. Signed blue jacket stick there of all the players. I think that's uh, 2014. This this is one of my boarding passes. I met Jared Bowl on a flight for work one time, so I had him sign my boarding pass. Uh, more blue jacket signatures there. Uh, what else do I have here? Jan Herdina played for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Have that. A bunch of games I went to. I actually went to the... Family and I went to the Canadians Bruins game, went there, Bruins. And then uh, we went up to Montreal, saw that. Hartford Whaler, Hartford, uh, Hartford AHL team. Where's the Bama, Bama football stuff? None of that, Scott. Did they win today? They were tied at halftime, weren't they? All right, so here's the kids stuff. So there is all the kids' toys in the corner over here. They have their own little area. I got that. They hang out back here with the couch. My son's office is right there. He always likes to play office. Uh, and there's the cube. We talk about stuff. You want to sell things. So I have a bunch of stuff in here I probably should sell. But uh, that's back there. But all right. This is my inventory that uh, where I keep my stuff. And here's how I try to break it out. So... If I got these from Walmart, these are very cheap and they're about to break almost all of them because I have so much stuff on them. But uh, Outdoor Girl has a Montreal Canadiens hoodie. I might be interested in that. Um, so I, these are only like $12, $13, but they don't hold up pretty well. You can't hold much and I have them way overloaded. So what I try to keep my, I try to keep polo shirts together, jerseys together. And then uh, sizes together. So here's my large section. And then down on the bottom, there's my extra large section. And I try to do them by color. 
So Roy G. Biv, right? Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, white, black, white. And I find it very easy when I'm going to find stuff that way. Uh, here's my other extra large section, extra larges. Down here is my double XL. Anything over XL, triples, doubles, fours. Uh, jerseys, here's all my jerseys that aren't new. Uh, my brand new and package are in another, they're in a box. But here's the thrift store find. So these are all my jerseys, uh, starting from youth all the way over to like size 52. So jerseys have a section. This, uh, this is the section that's kind of the weird section. No idea what that is, but I just put random stuff down there. Uh, pullovers, kind of jackets. This is this one. This one's kind of cool because it kind of has the side uh, shelves. But I put all my pullovers here, again, sorted by colors. So that's easy to find. And I same have a different row down here. This also was from Walmart. I have all my hoodies up here. All my hoodies, bags. Bags are on the side. Hoodies are on the top. Uh, and then jackets. So I try to keep things like things together. So I know if I sell a hoodie, nine times out of 10, it's up here. If I sell a pullover, it's probably in this area. If I sell uh, bags, they're probably right there. So that's that area. Um, Georgia won today, scored 66. Oh, really? So Alabama did come back. Nice. All right, here's, I bought a second rack. Have not used this top one yet. I sort my button-ups. So there you go. You can see my, sorry, see my button-ups right there. I try to keep them colored. Uh, matches to colors, but all my button-ups, I, I know if I sell a button-up, it's going to be right there. Here's my other one. There's my original size medium up top, size large at the bottom. That one is packed, so that's why I had to float to another rack over there. Uh, but I do color by uh, load it by color and by size. So I know if I sell a medium, my medium is going right there. Uh, if I do bundle things together, I try to rubber band my bundles. I have not rubber banded these yet, but you can see here, these are bundled. Uh, these two are bundled, and these three are bundled. So my bundles, I know, are on this side. Uh, I try to keep things to where I can find them. Shorts are kind of, I kind of hang my shorts here. Shorts, hang those up. So these, all my shorts are right there. Some are over there. I haven't been really pretty good on that. All right. So over here, I got these shelves at Ikea. I forget they were. They might have been between 70 and 100 bucks. but these are really good shelves. If you have an Ikea buy, you pick them up. Uh, I need to get rid of this. This is taking up sp uh, space. <coughs> but here's all, all my ties right here if I sell a tie. Uh, Wii games, games. Board games are pretty much up top. You can see over here, board games, board games. Just be careful when you buy board games because uh, sometimes if you don't buy enough uh, profit on it, you're going to be skimming pretty much next to nothing. So just be careful. Uh, just some other things. I try to lay like, like things together. Uh, you can see here, I, got ten, I have tennis rackets, bags. Some uh, wholesale toys. If you watch the Bad Buy shows, or the Bad Buy show on Fortunes in Reselling, which is on Sundays, come check it out. I've probably sold not many of those. Um, board, uh, I told you board games. Hats here. That's the one thing I really don't like. My hats aren't well organized. Remotes are all in one section. I've sold a lot of remotes, so they've kind of dwindled. Uh, I have a small section, so I recommend if you sell smalls, have like a little bin or something. I know that I can find certain things that uh, I know they'll go in here, like calculators, uh, thermostats, anything that's really small that can't really fit on the shelf, I'll put in there. And then uh, board games again, board games here. those by slim jim thermos 
Um, but basically, the moral of the story is I try to keep like things together. Um, so I have an idea. I'm back here all the time. How many? If you, and this is a fun game to play. Have someone look at your eBay store. They read something off your active listing, and you find it as fast as you can. Have you ever done that? I had my wife do that once. She would. She came down here, and I said, "Pick anything off the uh, the active list, and I'll find it as fast as I can." I think I won probably about ninety percent of the time. OCD can be a good thing, especially especially if reselling. That is true. <clears throat> so, and and what's nice about the stuff I just showed you, probably 90% of all those polo shirts I showed you, those button-ups are probably all paid for. 131 what? Filing cabinet system? Would love to hear that, Red Nickerson. Can't do that since seventy-five percent of my listed is in storage unit. Um, so yeah. What else? What did I miss? What did I miss with all these numbers? Donna says I'm way too way too organized. I don't know about that. There's there's a couple things. Uh, my liquidation stuff is all in the garage, and I have shelves, so I have kind of a system there. But. Uh, it's uh, it's okay. That's better than my liquidation stuff. Oh, Ohio State screwed my football pool. Yeah, Ohio State. I don't know how they squeaked that out today. Cut blocks should be illegal in football. <coughs> I'd be divorced if everything was in the house. <laughs> Filing cat. I hunted a Walmart. Nice, nice, Scott. So that's what I that's what I had. That's how I keep my stuff organized. Uh, I try to keep like sizes and colors together, basically as clothes come on. But to my uh, so the jerseys I showed you, my jerseys are all basically in a box. So those jerseys, and then I try to have players together and jersey types together. So I know if I sell uh, Gabriel Landeskog, I know he's going to be in one box, and I can pick his jerseys out. All right, I found last night. 171 sold for 130. Whoa, crazy. Nice, guys. Wow. How do you keep it from smelling like what? No. All right. Yeah, so I have uh, my I have one merchant fulfilled thing today on Amazon. Not like Scott has hundred and thirty one. Crazy. Uh, Donna says many of her clothes are in clear plastic bags. Interesting. Polo Rainbow. <laughs> that's that's a good name. That's a good YouTube name. Polo Rainbow. I have something I'll never sell. It's a miniature Boston Red Sox Louisville slugger bat. It was given to me at a Red Sox game of summer of 1967. Yeah, there's some, like my Nintendo stuff, I'd probably never sell it. All right, so what we're going to do for the liquidation.com giveaway, for those of you that want to get entered, uh, and I want to give everyone a chance to get entered. I kind of like doing it this way. Uh, so people that watch the replay can also get entered. What I would ask, if you want to get entered, comment on the video after it posts. Uh, comment something with liquidation. What do what you want if to, you, if you're looking to buy a lot in liquidation, uh, what are you looking to buy? What have you sourced? Leave a comment, something with you purchasing liquidation. Are you looking for something? Um, do you just want to get entered? Post, you just want to get entered. Um, but basically, I want to give everyone a shot. So leave a comment on the video after the fact, and we'll do another random number generator. I'll take everyone's comments. This is on the video only. So try not to, I mean, you can message me, but I'll ask you to post it on the YouTube video. So 
post it on there. You'll have a choice of three options to win. Uh, if you win, you can get forty dollars off of shipping, ten percent off the auction price, or um, there's a third one. I always forget the third one. So there's a third option you can pick. Uh, I'll give you a day or two to pick, or if you know right away, let me know. I'll give you a code back, and you once you buy your lot, you can put the code in, and it'll take it off the the uh, liquidation purchase price. Chibs had a sale, nice, nice. Joey won the last month's liquidation code and made his shipping under a dollar. Awesome. Yeah, guys. So yeah, post in the group, uh, and. If we want to wait a little bit, maybe till after Thanksgiving or when new lots come out, I look, there's not many out there. Uh, I think they're waiting for uh, the holiday to be over with just so they can get back into shipping. But uh, it looked like it dwindled a little bit. And, that, and keep in mind, it's it's ebb and flow with Christmas but, or uh, holidays. But um, you have two months. You're going to have a two months if you win the code. Uh, you'll have two months to win the code and that'll give you up until after Christmas. So you can be able to use the code uh, You can wait a little bit and wait for the right lot to, to hit So all you need to do is enter one entry coming on the video and we'll do a uh, Tomorrow we'll do the giveaway All right, I'll show you a couple things. I did pick up a lot today um, Should I picked up why I picked it up? I spent 62 20 uh, and again, I talked to my wholesaler or uh, supplier of jerseys. I'm going to pur probably purchase some more of those. Uh, here's a little goal I set for myself. Uh, not for, not goal, but I said if um, if another jersey sells, then I'll buy more. So I'm waiting for the la next one to sell. Uh, we'll see if it happens. That's the trigger for me to say, hey, I'm going to buy them all. But All right, so I picked up OSU. Again, any school works, Cutter and Buck crisp red i liked that one uh i so this is a test this one this polo is a test for me who's ever sold brooks brother polo shirts here's my brooks brothers um it looks pretty much brand new it's just plain black i wouldn't normally pick this up i want to see if it'll sell if it'll sell i see these a lot i will start picking them up some more uh, here's another one I picked up. It's an Oakley. It's an awesome shirt. I really like it because it has the back kind of sewn on. But there is one problem. I might try and fix it as much as I can. But there's a snag right there in the front. If I can get rid of the wispy thing, you can see it right there. Uh, I will list it with a snag, but it won't look as bad without that on there. Uh, I'll post it. Say, hey, there's a snag on the front. Minimal. Uh, I'll list it probably for 24. Joey's sold Brooks Brothers polos. I see Brooks Brothers all the time, but I leave them. Red Nickerson had five sales in the stream starter. Whoa, it's awesome. Looks like Chibs had one and Red Nickerson had one. Awesome. Yeah, Scott, this is the same. That's why I said this hat, this hat will sell well. Uh, picked up a long sleeve Under Armour. This is a new one for me. I've never found a long sleeve Under Armour. Under Armour is a buy every time. Uh, weird, I say weird. An NCAA logo, Ohio State Buckeyes. Picked that one up. Uh, here's another test for me. Uh, Greg Norman, I really like the style on this one. This one's pretty cool. It's a sharp shirt, black and white stripes. Look at that. And uh, probably one of the only reasons why I bought it, Tory Pines is on the, the chest. So I really like that polo shirt. That is cool. Uh, a new brand I've picked up. I want to hear what you guys think of this. Uh, is Grayson. Grayson polo shirts. Grayson golf polo shirts. When I search stuff that's uh, pre-owned, uh, I see a lot of stuff that's new that sells at a right price. I always validate that pre-owned sells as well. Here's what it looks like. Has anyone sold Grayson? Uh, you kind of see it there. So it's a sharp looking shirt. It is polyester. 
<clears throat> the thing that gave it away when I was looking for it, when you look anything, ties, polo shirts, uh, button-up shirts, anything, and they have intricate detail on it, always look it up. So I looked this up. It has a kind of rubber wolf on it. You can see it kind of pops out a little bit. But uh, that's kind of what triggered me to look at it. So I picked up one, and I found another one. When you find one good thing, something else comes in pairs, found another one. So kind of cool color there. It's almost like a light baby blue white stripe. So I'm debate. I'm probably going to list them individually to give it a shot. But Grayson, if you look it up, G-R-E-Y-S-O-N, keep your eyes out for those. Uh, Hard Dixie Flipper says Brooks Brothers, a quick flip. Interesting. Uh, a white one, be careful with white stuff because it can get stained or it is stained. It is a Jack Nicholas polo with the golden bear on the back. Uh, and I picked it up just because it has the memorial tournament on it. Uh, picked up another. So this is Adidas. Again, another quarter zip. Quarter zips do really well. I've never picked up a. Uh, climate heat so climate heat and then uh, it's got a golf course on it so golf course stuff does pretty well pick that up if you can Joey takes his Friday sales to the post office on Saturday interesting uh, time Bahama any good uh, yeah it depends some sit some sell real fast it depends I say it depends uh, usually I buy them sometimes uh, I will pass them up uh, just because they're a little longer tail. I will buy them really fast, though, if they have a pattern. Hey, Rad Monkeys, what's up? Uh, a baseball shirt. Picked up uh, Antigua. Another Antigua brand. Picked that up. And then Cincinnati Reds. I like that stuff. Uh, this was a sale on Poshmark, and I found another one. Callaway. Again, guys, if you can find shirts with pull, uh, pockets on them, See right there. Uh, I think I got twenty-four dollars for this. So Callaway uh, with the pockets, crazy brands. Pick them up. Couple more things here. Another Under Armour. This is a random brand. It has a golf club logo on it. Um, list that up. It's probably gonna sit. We'll see. Uh, <laughs> I couldn't pass up. Look at this. Talk about new with tags. Big tags on Foot Joy. It is a mock turtleneck. There you go, brand new. And it has a, looks like almost a, one of those golf outings shirts that people get. It is for the Drive for Life Golf Classic. So it is a Cancer Society event. Uh, brand new with tags. It has the Foot Joy in the back. So brand new. With, I couldn't pass the tag up. Uh, last two things I picked up. Pretty awesome. Dry Joy by Foot Joy. This is like a windbreaker. These sell pretty well. Make sure you list, if it's on the tag, the word Dry Joy in your title. This should not last long. It's a good heavy-duty windbreaker. It's got the rubber seal on the back. Uh, if you can find the Dry Joy quarter zips, you can see right there, with the pockets, those sell really well. And this is what I'm interested in. Uh, I've kind of been enamored lately with the mock turtlenecks because they do sell pretty well. But uh, the Marine Corps Marathon, look at that, 2014. It has Marine down the arm, which is really cool. It's got that. It's compression. It's a size small. Then on the back, look at that. That's kind of cool. So I really like that. That's awesome. It's got the embroidered Marine Corps logo there. I like it a lot. That's awesome. So, never sold one of those, never seen it. We'll see. But uh, there you go. Does anyone know the international program name we have to ask Pirate Ship to add us to receive discounts on international shipping? I do not know. If Beard Picker, if you're still in here, do you know the international program? Uh, Flipping Particles says uh, simple export. So look, uh, look up their uh, look up their support of uh simple export hopefully that can help you out thanks flipping particles that's awesome 
<clears throat> I found a Looney Tunes Men's Golf Fest for $3. Ooh. Donna, post that in the chat, uh, Facebook group if you can. I'd love to see that. Looney Tunes, I bet you can list that for at least 40 bucks. So, yeah, $62, Salvation Army. I saw Salvation Army. I found nothing. But, um, yeah, guys, hopefully you find some good stuff this weekend. Again, if you want to get entered in the liquidation giveaway, comment on the on this video. It should probably post in the next 10 minutes. Uh, I will be compiling names all day tomorrow. So if you don't get to it tonight, comment tomorrow on this specific video. Uh, I will add you right up before the show if you don't get it. And then um, we'll give away a code tomorrow. We'll do a random number generator and uh, we'll give away give it away. For Thriftina Jones, my polo shirts are three ninety nine. So you can see there, I bought uh, twelve polos, three ninety nine. Those two, one vest was four ninety nine, and the uh, what's the other? I bought another jacket. There's another jacket for four ninety nine. So that's that one. Usually the jackets at the other Goodwill are five ninety nine, but yeah, polos, all polos are three ninety nine. Red monkeys. Bought a Sony camcorder. Awesome. Yeah, test those in the store if you can. I did find a uh, Daewoo VHS DVD player, but the DVD portion did not open. Every time I hit open, the LCD said no. <laughs> Every time I pressed it, it said no. Like, stop yelling at me. I had to leave behind. So, yeah. Uh, I will get my I am off on Monday So all day Monday uh, Maybe you guys want to hang out and list all day Monday for those of you that are around But uh, I'm off. I will be getting my FBA shipment ready. We can talk FBA shipments on Monday if you guys want to um, I could be getting that shipped out before I fly out on Tuesday so I am the athletic capital of goodwill <laughs> Yeah, I do find some good stuff. Uh, I won't lie. Some of the other Goodwills have not had some good stuff, but uh, I'm surprised. That one I go to tends to have a lot of awesome stuff. But, uh, yeah. But, guys, thanks for joining. Guys and girls, thank you. Have a great Saturday evening. We'll talk to you later. Get some stuff listed. You don't have to ship tonight, which is nice. So uh, get some listings done. Hang out. Have a good time. We'll talk to you tomorrow. We'll give away a code tomorrow. Comment down below. One comment, one entry, uh, max of one. We'll talk to you guys later. See you tomorrow.